Yo, yo. Yes, sir. What's up, guys? Yes. This DJ will kick the floor in three, in three, two, three, two, two, one, ah. one, one, one. one. Hello and welcome to Mzansi. We are back again. It's the time of the night. It's yeah. updates and whatnot that you can think of. But here we obviously are open to say what we think and how we think it. And again, this is not the place for watching DSTV. We are not in any now affiliated to DSTV. For those who are looking not to pay for DSTV or anything for that matter that we share here, we'll talk about here, we are not looking to break rules. Yeah. So please go pay everything that you need to pay for so that you can get the original of whatever that we talk about here. Here we discuss. And you can support the artists and everyone who works on the content. Exactly, on exactly, exactly. You come here, shout and say, hey, I want to want this, I want to watch that. Then you've got to have something in your pocket. It is called, what do we call it? Rivalry goods? Yeah, rivalry goods, yes. It's uh, exclusive, exclusive goods, exclusive. you know? It's mm-hmm. not like sun. It's not like air. Mm-mm. It's exclusive, mm, must meaning those who can afford, they will pay for them. I'm saying this because there are people who come here demanding that we play the original thing. Mm-mm. Right. Okay, we're not there. Let us roll. Here is Mr. Anonymous. And um, this is Emily. Welcome back to the Mzansi Reality YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining us yet again for another one of those videos. Well, this one is a podcast edition. We're just going to give our two cents on some of the stories that are making it big. We're going to be talking about Nongu. And of course, I saw a comment from one of our subscribers asking us, when are we going to talk about this AKA situation, Mr. Anonymous? Because a lot has happened. There's a lot of factual information coming from independent news media. The other media has not yet covered it. Like, I don't know whether what is happening, but you know, they are always late when it comes to stuff that appear on social media. So on social media, there has been some developments regarding um, the story of who and what is happening with the AKA case. So starting off with Nongu, news on the streets is that Nongu and Raf Diamond are engaged. <laughs> He went down on one knee, honey, and put a ring on Nongu's finger. If you don't believe me, here is the clip. Right. Let's play that clip because I was like, hey, what is happening? Whoa, 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 whoa. She had deleted pictures of herself with Raf Diamond. And now this. Let's look at that clip and see what is happening. <laughs> oh, and go sit that. Can we go back? <laughs> the weird thing about this clip there is that there is a voice in the background. Now, I don't know whether that voice was saying and cut or what was happening. But uh, it looks like they are shooting something or they are shooting for something. And I'm wondering to myself, is Nongu closing this season with a bang or what? <laughs> Maybe she wants to close season three with an engagement from Rough Diamond and have us not talk about her and Rough Diamond anymore because we are on her neck. Let's be honest, we are on her neck about the situation. And some people are saying that this was way too quick because it's only been a couple of months since they started dating, while other other people feel like this relationship is just a publicity stunt. Well, if it's real or a real engagement, congratulations to Nongu Williams and Raf Diamond, and we will be happy for her as long as she's happy until she's not. You as sound Lee like Slee. As Lee said. Uh, no. <laughs> There's no congratulations. I'm not going to be drawn into it. 
And I'm not saying it, and I'm not going to say it. You're I'm going to keep it to myself. I'm going to be an odd one, mm-hmm. jealous one, if you like. I don't <laughs> care. But I don't see anything good coming out of that. And there is no such proposal that is so plain, such that you have to, you know? Enkosi. That's acting. You know? Action. <laughs> Cut. Cut. <laughs> So that's I'm one of those people who are saying they, that's a publicity stunt. I'm one of those people that are saying that. I don't care where you ask me where I got it. I don't care. It's my opinion. That's why I got it. It's a publicity stunt. Yeah. Publicity stunt. Okay. A lot of people feel that way. Unfortunately, in the social media streets, a lot of people feel like this is a publicity stunt. They just want a trend. They just want to have us talking about them. I don't know. Retlabana kope. We'll see ahead what is happening. Now moving on to a much more serious story, Mr. Anonymous. All right. Um, I was very skeptical at the beginning with covering the AKA situation because I was traumatized by everything that was happening. Mm. Um, I remember. I I I don't like covering um tragedies like this instantly when they happen. Because emotionally, I'm in a turmoil. And seeing it over and over and over and over and over again, it just, it, it didn't feel right talking about it. Mm-hmm. But now that we are seeking justice, as people that saw what happened on social media, I only feel that it's fair that we start tracking the process of the case with our subscribers, you know? Mm-hmm. And we don't miss a single foot. So apparently the cops have closed in on AKA and Tibbs alleged killers while police have apprehended three men in connection with the murder of Keenan AKA Forbes and the suspects have been taken in for interrogation. Yeah. Now at this stage the trio were apprehended in Belha in the Western Cape at the weekend. Now, according to reports, investigation teams had been trailing the alleged hitman for weeks following the murders of AKA and Dibelo Tips Mozwani in Durban on Friday, February the 10th. Now, the two had been gunned down in Florida Road after AKA had been to Wish Restaurant for food and drinks ahead of a scheduled birthday celebration performance at Yugo. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but Yugo is actually one of the clubs owned by Amy's husband from the Real Housewives of Durban. So it's one of his establishments and Durban nightclub. So SAPS detectives and members of the National Intervention Unit closed in on the three suspects at the Erica Square in Belha on Sunday. Now, these alleged suspects apparently were arrested on Sunday, and one of the suspects is linked to a string of taxi killings in Mpangeni in the northern KwaZulu-Natal, according to Netwerk 24. Twentag and Fir. Now that's an Afrikaans publication. I tried to look at it, guys, but yo, I can't read Afrikaans to save my life. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is going to take the whole week. No. So the men were traced to the Western Cape following a string of crimes in KZN. The investigation team traced the men after posing as officials from the Department of Social Development. Now, sources close to the investigation said that the men would go house to house, posing as SASA agents and offering to help people register for grants. Mm. Now, the police investigation led them to Belha, where they observed the gang's movements before apprehending them. Officers also found a white Mercedes Benz, believed to have been used as a gateway car on the night of AKA's incident. Mm -hmm. Now, the vehicle is being searched for fingerprints and other clues that could assist in the investigation. By the way, all of these reports are coming from IOL, which is an independent media publication. The arrest of the men went viral on social media on Monday. Mm -hmm. Isn't it funny how it went social? 
like it went viral on social media people even obtained pictures apparently the pictures were taken by citizens or normal people and they decided to post them on the social media streets yeah now police remain tight-lipped on their arrest now it seems like the police don't want to get ahead or don't want to promise or don't want to be ahead maybe because they're not saying anything they're not revealing any information about what the case was happening with the case they haven't said anything so far so it seems like maybe they're just putting that ducks in the road they don't want to give us hope like what has been happening with the senzo Meiwa trial you know so they further revealed in their latest report that undercover police had nabbed the suspects at an ATM in Belha, and it is believed that one of the suspects is linked to a string of taxi killings in the Northern Cape, as reported by Network 24. Now, what is happening here is that three were said to be arrested, and then later on, two people were said to be arrested later. So in a total, we've got five suspects that are currently being interrogated, allegedly. Our lucky number. <laughs> well, five suspects with Senzo Meiwa, five suspects with uh, EKA. That's a lucky number. What you think? I think it's a lucky number. Well, I observed a few things. That video that I saw of mm-hmm. the person that did all that thing to mm-hmm. AKA, mm-hmm. I, for me, that, that person looked... Thinner. I mean, there was even uh, people speculating that it could be a woman. Yes, because of the uh, hips. Yeah, yeah. But they look sure chubby. I've got nothing against people who are chubby. Maybe, or maybe I'm also chubby. But in a short space. Let's play that footage with the images that have been circulating. In something. a short space. Like, I, I, I'm also not really They look so chubby. They I don't know, man. Macabre. But, uh, yeah, yeah, but uh, it happens, maybe. You know, what is this animals that eat everything 13, at one cent? They've had 13 can. weeks to get belly, belly fat. Yeah. It's like a number, though. Don't trust anything that comes with that lucky number. Mm. We know for sure that wow. where we come from with such number. Well, a Mercedes-Benz found in Umlazi may be linked to the murder scene in Durban after DNA of a no oh, taxi at that industry level. hired a gun from Mpangeni was found. Now, IOL reported earlier today. Are we at that level where we're calling these names like that? But in any case, let's go. <laughs> the investigating team traced the suspects to Western Cape while posing as social development officials. Now you're trying to tell me that these people did what they did and they continued and they started doing now, posing, going house to house. After doing what they did, they still have the goal and the audacity to go house to house, posing as social development people. Very interesting. Very. And the fact that they they, they are caught in Cape Town, mm-hmm. that's, that's also very interesting. Mm-hmm. A group of five men apprehended by police in connection with the case of Keenan, a.k.a. Forbes, are expected to travel from Cape Town to KwaZulu-Natal, where they will be further questioned. The arrests were made by specialized policing units at the weekend, and a.k.a. and his friend uh, were terminated in florida road more than seven weeks ago Mm. so the sunday tribune initially reported that at least three men were arrested following a breakthrough in the case on sunday but according to a source close to the investigation into the rapper's ending of life the suspects were arrested in cape town Mm. and were in police custody the newspaper initially reported however Police management in both KZN and the Western Cape are yet to confirm the events of Sunday where the first three suspects were taken into police custody and handcuffed at a Cape Town shopping center. 
So they were arrested at a shopping complex. Apparently, they were close to an ATM, and uh, the police were wearing private, and they were kind of eyeing them and, and following them. And one of them was in another man who was a shopkeeper's store, and they were stalking them, and then they finally decided to arrest them. Mm. Well, uh, that's it. Well, what can I say? Well, sources close to the investigation have told IOL that the three of the men were nabbed at the Erika Square in Belha, an area known to be a gang territory. They said one of the suspects is linked to a string of taxi killings in Mbangeni in northern KwaZulu-Natal, and the men were traced to Western Cape following a string of crimes in KZN. The police investigation led officers to Belha, where they observed their gang's movements before apprehending That them. sounds like a repetitive part. I feel like we've heard or we've seen this before. Mm. I feel like... For us who are covering the Senzo Meiwa trial, it, it, some some parts are familiar. But I'm not saying that it's the same case or it's the same thing. We're just going to trust the SA police to do what is right this time. Well, we don't trust them, but we're just going to say they're going to do right. Let's they hope. have to. They have to do the right thing this time around. Nobody Otherwise, trust we'll them. have a backlog of so many cases that go cold. You can't afford to let this one go cold as well. Look at how difficult it is with the Senzo one. And nobody trusts anybody here in South Africa these days. Oh, guys. Not even you, but Angel. Oh, you bad angel. My God, guys, did you watch the Al Jazeera documentary? Mm -hmm. Did you see the gold mafia? Did you see? Look at your neighbor, Mr. Anonymous. Look at your neighbor and say, Gold is good. <laughs> it's very difficult. Yes, we've been scammed. We've been scammed. This whole operation is a scam. Because who would have thought that a whole prophet who has how many churches, 15 branches of churches would need to be doing all of that, allegedly? Well, it's not, it's not us who was bringing on the camera. But, well, and I'm an ambassador to the president. That position was created for me. <laughs> let the name of God prevail. Wow, guys, did you see that? I am blown away. I'm like, yo, Korea, you're busy giving your last money. You're giving your tithe. They want tithe, they want seed, they want <laughs> offering. They want what do you say about the past that had actually won 100 million and then? Allegedly, yes, I saw it this morning. But then the interesting part is that when I went to check again, the post was deleted. So I don't know <laughs> it's whether it's they, it's were, <laughs> they were scared or whether they, they, they got a message or they were informed to take it down. So allegedly there's some pastor in, in, in Uganda, mm. yes, who won 100 million rands on a jackpot betting, sports betting. The he following won. day, the man is no more there. Close and he the closed church the church. Down. People showed up He's on like, Sunday. I've got what I've been praying for. You're all going to see yourself where you pray this time. Find yourself in your room. I am tired of uh, begging you for your time. <laughs> 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 it's alleged. It's for the fun. It's for the laughs. Oh, uh, my God. Yeah, I mean, do you have anything to, 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 to give us? No, another extra story is that apparently producers are liking Sane. Oh, rod. No, they they brought him. They brought her. Why wouldn't they like her? They are planning on replacing Bali with Sane, allegedly. Because Bali mm. is not showing up. She's got a million, maybe. But she got a gig at Mkoka. She's fine. It is alleged that you get paid uh, before you even play there by Rod. Mm, you do, actually. Um, I'm, I'm told by one of the fabs that <laughs> that you can be paid before you start the whole shenanigan. Maybe that will explain why people, even when they are ganged up upon, they feel Begazelle. obligated to beg a Zelda. But I don't know, man, it's alleged. 
all of it is alleged. Now, what do you think about the diamond walk? Is it is it a diamond walk? The one uh, where there will be Gucci, there will be Dolce and Gabbana, there will be all of these labels at the at the mall of Ace Ocean's Eight Mall of Shuris, Surisha's husband. That mall. Yeah, that means more money for Surisha, <laughs> <laughs> it was a launch over the weekend. It was very yeah. Now they're gonna they're gonna have something to to go and check against when they are saying you are wearing fake. Uh, they're gonna look for your receipt. Apparently, mm-hmm. they give digital receipts, mm-hmm. so you can go there and ask. Usman Bani, are, are they in your database? Are they in your system? Or when your blesser decides to bless you. You can now go check. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, You can now go check and see if you gave you the original or the fake. You can do that now. All right, that's 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 good. Mm -hmm. It's it's more money, and I mean people who like to spend on brands. Yeah. And and and. And Politicians. (laughs) Yeah, they're now gonna buy there when they go down to Devon. They like Gucci bags. I don't know why you like poking them. <laughs> they like them though. It's not a lie. Let's talk about Slay Queens. No one is going to be following us. <laughs> That's how it is, man. Hi, okay, guys. Let us know what you think in the comment section down below. We decided to give you a little bit more of what's happening and update you because, mm. uh, yeah, you need to know this information, especially regarding AKA's case. Yeah, if you talk about, let's talk about everyone else, like people who were abandoned the house allegedly, uh, Dr. Nandi, you know. Ooh. Those are things to talk about, man. Dr. Nani. <laughs> Dr. Nani deserves yeah, her own that. special notable best. They deserve their own special, those ones. Uh, we need a separate video because they kuning, right. okay. kuninga, kuningiest. Okay, la the ningiest. Yes. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay. That would be it okay, from our side, guys. Um, thank you very much for, for coming through. Thank you so much for watching and leave your comments down below. I want to know what you think. Okay. Until next time, bye.